Lisa. I'm from the Coolville Public Library. And today we are gonna learn how to make some sun catchers with just some everyday household items that we have. Um, the first thing you do is that you get all your materials. I have some glue, I have some colored pencils, I have a little bit of oil. It doesn't matter if it's olive oil or Crisco oil, whatever. Um, and I have canning jar lids. I use the large kind. Uh, they're very cheap and honestly, you can use used ones that you've already used to can with. Uh, also, have a pair of scissors, a pencil, and having a couple paper towels is always handy to have by, by you. Um, the first thing I did was I found a coloring page that I, I liked. Um, my tip for the day is to find one that doesn't have anything on the back of it. It's just printed on one side. There's nothing on the other side uh, because when you put your oil on it, it will bleed through. You can see the other side, not very pretty. So they say that coloring is very relaxing. And so you can do this any place, any time. And this craft is for adults and children. Uh, anybody can do it. So first you find your coloring page and you color it. And as you notice, I've, I've uh, got one partially colored right here. And um, once you're done coloring, then some of you may have a, it's like a hole punch, but it's like a three and a half inch hole punch. And you can use that to center and figure out what part you would like to have cut out but not everybody has that. So I took a candy jar lid and center it up on the part that you would like to have in your sun catcher. So we're going to trace it. And then we take a pair of scissors, cut it out. And I don't have this totally done, but you don't want to sit there and watch me color all day. So we will just do it out. So we've done this. Okay. I use mark I use colored pencils to color with. Um, they say that you can use markers. I've never tried the markers, um, but I do like the coloring pencils. So let's put this aside, get that out of the way. Now you have your circle, and this is what's going to go on the inside of your canning jar lid. Now it's a little bit bigger, and you'll have to work it in, but you can do that. So you take a little drop of oil and you just rub it in and just kind of coat it just just add a drop or two and this is why you have the paper towels because it is kind of a little bit messy this is the only messy part of it Okay, so swirl that around a little bit. Now the reason you put the oil on is so it will make it, <clears throat> excuse me, translucent. When the light goes through it, it'll show up a lot better. So to speed things up a little bit, I'm gonna blot my calling page and blot it and blot it and get a lot of the excess oil off of it. Okay, now we've done that. Okay, so this is your finished coloring page. Great big canning jar ring and now what you do is you put a little bit of glue on the inside. Uh, 
Okay, put that right there. Now, the page that you colored on that side, the colored page you put on the rim side of the canning lid. And you just work that in. That may not be perfect, and that's fine. So you just kind of work it in a little bit. Just kind of keep working the paper because you want a little bit of, a, of the paper to be around the edge of that rim so that it will have a place to stick. With the glue. Not hard. Pretty easy and adults and children can do this. Um, if you've noticed, I did some adult coloring pages um, but if your child does any kind of, of coloring, you can easily cut it out, put it in this, and I'm sure your child would love seeing their artwork up on the windows. Now, if when you hang these, you can take fishing line and you can tie it around your canning jar lid and hang it from there. And just hang it from the window like that. I like them. And they look really nice on your windows. And especially when the sun's out. So, hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully, uh, you can do a few with several of the things that you have around the house. Um, or, if you have to go buy it, they're not very expensive. So, your Dollar Tree, um, the dollar stores, any of those will have this stuff. So... Thank you for sitting and watching me do this and hopefully have fun with your crafting. Bye.